Whitechapel Gallery is a really fascinating place in London and in Britain in general. It's uh, one of the most established and um, longest established public art galleries in Britain and has really had a very, very interesting history of showing the best international artists uh, right here in London, including um, such artists as Jackson Pollock, Robert Rauschenberg, Mark Rothko. Um, all of those are artists which were shown at the Whitechapel Gallery at a very early stage in their career, and sometimes for the first time ever in Britain. It was built and founded in a time where it was very important to bring culture into an area that was very diverse um, and where culture was really a means of educating, enabling people and empowering people to engage critically um, with culture as a part of a democratic upbringing. Um, and I think that's really a mission and uh, a goal that we uh, try to translate into the 21st century. The Whitechapel Gallery was established in 1899 and was and opened its doors to the public in 1901. Uh, it was founded by Samuel Cannon Barnett and Henrietta Barnett. And the purpose of the gallery's foundation was to bring the best of international art to the people of East London. Their initial um, desire was to educate the local people. And they believed very much in art, and they believed that through the encounter with art, the groups were at the time living in extreme poverty would be able to, in a way, have hope for life. That's what they thought it would do. The East End is a very interesting area of London because um, although it has changed tremendously over the years, at the same time it, it keeps a particular identity only with different populations moving in. So in the last 200 years we know that it was always a very vibrant, very kind of busy place to be, and it still is, and it was in the 50s, and it was in the 30s, for, for very different um, demographics, but I think the essence of the place um, hasn't changed. Uh, Picasso's Guernica was shown at the Whitechapel in 1939 in a very short exhibition, which actually wasn't an art exhibition as such, it was a political um, initiative. Thousands of people came on a daily basis. We know that the gallery itself became a platform for talks, but also in terms of an art context, a lot of also of an amazing work that at the time they wouldn't have been able to see just across the road from where they lived and for free. The Whitechapel was actually established under the premise of bringing the, as they called it back then, uh, the best of international art to the people of the East End. I think nowadays um, the remit stays the same in principle, but we've also changed. I think the Whitechapel is really the artist's gallery. It's a gallery for artists, with artists, and everybody uh, is, is able to join and, and have a look at the exhibitions. In 2009 the gallery expanded, it basically doubled in size. What happened was that the adjacent public library, the Pasmar Edwards Library, uh, was being vacated. And we thought it was important um, to keep that building, which has a strong history in the area, um, in public hands. Um, we were actually able to acquire the building and to join the historic Whitechapel Gallery building with the historic Pasma Edwards Library building, thus doubling our exhibition space, doubling our education spaces, um, and also allowing for a very good restaurant and all the things that, that come along with a, a gallery space. The year 2012 will bring the final touch of the 2009 expansion to the Whitechapel Gallery. When the gallery was built at the early 20th century, um, it had been planned that it would incorporate a large frieze showing um, floral ornament and the so-called tree of life motif. The frieze was never completed. Um, now in 2012, with the aid of Rachel Whiteread, we will actually be able to finish the, um, the Whitechapel frieze and in a way the Whitechapel gallery. I think Rachel Whiteread's frieze really puts the finishing touch on a project um, that was started over a hundred years ago. And I think by kind of dotting that I and crossing that T, so to speak, by um, finishing that freeze of the Whitechapel Gallery, um, I think it's also an, at the same time a new starting point that we can, we can um, readdress our position here in London, we can readdress what we think is important about art, 
and I think it's an interesting stepping stone um, to continue what the Whitechapel Gallery has been doing for the past 100 years.